In the depths of space, where the universe unfurls its mysteries, a revelation of cosmic proportions has emerged. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered evidence of a possible ocean world larger than Earth with conditions that have the potential to support life. The world's premier space science observatory, the state-of-the-art telescope, which offered stunning views of our solar system's planets, galaxies, stars, and other parts of the universe never glimpsed before. Webb Telescope now reveals the exciting discovery of the first water detected on a potentially habitable planet. The exoplanet known as K218b was first discovered in 2015, more than 120 light years from Earth during the space agency's K2 mission. But Webb's enhanced technology, compared to previous space telescopes, recently allowed scientists to more closely examine the star orbiting planet beyond our solar system. And what they found was nothing short of remarkable. Observations in 2019 with Webb's predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, previously indicated that the exoplanet, 8.6 times bigger than Earth, could be a Hycian world with a hydrogen-rich atmosphere and a surface covered by ocean water. But what are Hycian worlds anyway? Well, Dr. Madhusudan, an astronomer at the University of Cambridge and lead author of the paper announcing these results, introduced a concept to describe planets like K218b, coining the term Hycian worlds in 2021. This term cleverly blends hydrogen and ocean to represent these water-rich celestial bodies. Anyway, we'll revisit Doctor's contributions shortly. The improved technology of the James Webb Space Telescope allowed researchers to make some remarkable observations of a massive exoplanet. Webb Telescope has turned its even more powerful sights on the planet, providing a trove of new data. The new results showed traces of carbon dioxide and methane in exoplanets' atmosphere without detecting ammonia, which likely indicates a water ocean under a hydrogen-rich atmosphere. Ocean worlds like K218b are good candidates in the search for alien life. After all, the water enabled Earth to flourish. But even a planet with a liquid ocean and carbon-rich atmosphere isn't guaranteed to host organisms. It has to be the right size, temperature, and distance from its sun in what scientists call the habitable zone. Located in the constellation Leo, K218b orbits the red dwarf star K218 in what's known as the habitable zone, the region around a star in which liquid water could potentially pool on the surface of a rocky planet. Finding water in a potentially habitable world other than Earth is incredibly exciting. And where there's water, there could be clouds and rain. Yet the telescope's revelations didn't end there. In addition to turning up carbon molecules, the JWST findings showed the possible presence of something potentially more exciting in the atmosphere of the exoplanet. Initial observations using Webb also detected the possible presence of a molecule called dimethyl sulfide, or DMS, which on Earth is only produced as a byproduct of life. The majority of DMS found in Earth's atmosphere comes from phytoplankton, microscopic organisms in the oceans. In a statement, NASA said the inference of DMS in the atmosphere is less robust than other findings and needs further validation. NASA's statement underscores the significance of this discovery, a crucial step toward finding an exoplanet with an atmosphere akin to Earth's, characterized by moderate temperatures, a cosmic habitat hospitable to life as we know it. NASA did say, however, that the abundance of methane and carbon dioxide detected in the atmosphere, as well as a shortage of ammonia, support the hypothesis that there may be a water ocean underneath a hydrogen-rich atmosphere. Astronomers are particularly interested in studying K218b because it is also in the habitable zone of its host star, meaning it's not too close nor too far from its sun. The space agency says that while Hycian worlds are predicted to have oceans of water, it is also possible that the ocean is too hot to be habitable. More observations of the exoplanet are on the way, 
but the team behind these findings thinks what they have seen thus far is already proof of the power of the telescope. With just one transit able to deliver as much data as Hubble could reap in eight similar crossings, the team will now continue to observe K218b with the Webb telescope as they aim to validate their findings and also gather more intel about the environmental conditions on the exoplanet. Dr. Madhusudan stresses the need for further research to confirm these findings. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory has allocated time for additional Webb telescope scans later this year. Madhusudan's team plans to use Webb's mid-infrared instrument to confirm or disprove the presence of DMS. If Webb's mid-infrared instrument sounds unfamiliar, let's take a moment to appreciate some of the stunning images it has already captured. View of the Pillars of Creation strikes a chilling tone. Thousands of stars that exist in this region disappear from view, and seemingly endless layers of gas and dust become the centerpiece. Webb Telescope has observed the well-known Ring Nebula with unprecedented detail. Formed by a star throwing off its outer layers as it runs out of fuel, the Ring Nebula is positioned at roughly 2,500 light-years away from Earth. The graceful winding arms of the spiral galaxy M51 stretch across this image. This galactic portrait was also captured by Webb's mid-infrared instrument. Cassiopeia A is a supernova remnant located about 11,000 light-years from Earth in the constellation Cassiopeia. Now that we've glimpsed some of the breathtaking imagery captured by Webb's mid-infrared instrument, it's clear that this remarkable telescope is transforming our understanding of the cosmos, as well as helping NASA to push the boundaries of scientific exploration and inspire future generations of astronomers and space enthusiasts. One of the main uses of the web is to study the atmospheres of exoplanets, and this is the first time that astronomers have picked up a trace of DMS in a planet orbiting a distant star. The James Webb Space Telescope's quest continues as it aims to unveil more secrets hidden among the stars. Join us as we venture into the cosmos, seeking answers to the mysteries of existence. Subscribe to our channel for more extraordinary tales from the universe. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to hit the like button if you found this cosmic journey as awe-inspiring as we did. Together, we'll continue exploring the cosmos, one revelation at a time.